Hey Kate Andrews here, and today we are going to edit this photo that I took at a Kinsey party last weekend. So I think that this would actually make a great black and white picture. So first things first, we're going to convert this to black and white. Alright, awesome. Now we're going to get into the editing process. So what I like to do with my black and whites, I always like to add a little bit of clarity. So let's play with the clarity. I like 30. I really, really, really do. Alright, so the background is kind of blown out. So what I'm going to do is grab the highlights and change it down a bit. Perfect. We're going to play with the exposure knob. Okay, so exposure's at 10. Contrast about 25. Let's actually change the contrast down just a little bit. Looking good so far. Okay, so let's go down here to black and white color mix. So what I'm going to do with the red is I'm actually going to change this down. Kind of give it that darker look right here. I really like that. I'm going to play with the orange. Change it just a little bit. Hmm. Let's say right about there. I like it right there. Perfect. Alright, so we're going to go down to the sharpening. So I know that it's already pretty sharp, but I like to do this just a little bit with all my pictures. So I'm going to change it, the amount, to 50. Perfect. What I like to do is also add like a, a vignette or whatever you call it around the photo to kind of suck your eyes into the center of the image. So let's... Perfect. We are about done. Now we're going to play with the tone curve. The darks. Oh. Looking good so far. Okay, let's see what we've got so far. We're going to look at the before and after. Ooh, I really like how it looks. Um, hmm, is there anything else that I could change, though? Aha! The dehaze. I love the dehaze. Let's play with this. Oh, yeah. I really like it. Really love this image. Sweet. We are done editing this photo. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, also, if you want to follow some of my work, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. I will have all that stuff in the link in the description below. Thank you, and have a great day.